I know, I know. Why is this dang thing back? Welcome back to another episode of Broke Premiere, guys. If you've been here, you know that we've been working on the Kia. And in the last episode, I kind of went through everything that I've been doing trying to get this thing to run without that P0014 code. Also in the last episode, I ended up dropping out the bottom of the engine, trying to see if we could end up cleaning out a filter that I have in here for the variable valve timing solenoids. What I didn't show you guys, because I've kind of just been pondering and trying to make this work, I finally got this screw out. And what I ended up doing was hammering in a triple square drive bit and I just kind of heated it up hammered that in and then I kind of just broke it with a breaker bar ever so slightly kind of just bouncing the breaker bar finally it popped loose got in there sprayed down don't think it did anything <laughs> I feel like I wasted two days trying to get in through that thing didn't do I don't think a single thing. So at this point, I'm kind of giving up. I do think when I sprayed before, I got some little debris out that I noticed. There was some kind of black residue, almost like old sealant kind of popped down. So that was a good sign to me because it was black and the last sealant that these guys used was gray and my sealant was blue. So to me, that means it was probably a factory sealant that when they tried to fix something, got sucked up in there. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that that blew out from there. But right now what I would like to do is to actually get this thing back together. I want to get it and hopefully that's something that I did along with claiming the variable valve timing solenoids again. Hopefully that will help not pop off these codes anymore. Right now what I wanna do is start by getting the oil pump back up there, clean the oil pan, reseal it, and put that thing back up there. Just basically just put the bottom end back together. So I'm gonna get after it. See you guys in a bit. All right, guys, it is the next day. I ended up trying to sell a Tucson last night. I ended up being a used car salesman. I could just tell by his persona. Tried cutting me down pretty bad, so still have not sold the Tucson. But today, what I wanna do is finish buttoning this thing up and try to get it running and hopefully pass that P0014 code. So. I want to put the variable valve timing solenoid back in, put on the hoses, top off the oil, put on the serpentine belt and get this thing running. Really hoping, I'm trying to have a positive mindset about going into this. So I believe it's gonna work. I think something had to have freed up by now between the variable valve timing solenoids, between that little screen, between a little bit of grime I saw shoot out of the oil. Hopefully something is changing. I believe it's gonna, fingers crossed. So I'm gonna get after it. See you guys in a bit. I know, I know, why is this dang thing back? Last night, 
when I had someone come test it out, I think the used car salesman, they were mentioning noises, this and that, trying to find anything that could have knocked the price down on me, which is normal, and especially from a guy like that. I'm, re I'm really not mad at used car salesmen, I'm mad at the sleazy ones who try to act like there's someone else doing something else. So anyway, it irritated me, but it made me realize that there's some things I should probably take care of this so that no one else can try to play that game on me again. Uh, one of the things I did notice is the transmission does seem to lag a little bit, which I don't remember before. Maybe it was, and I just got caught up in the moment. I really don't know. But because it's doing that, I want to try to trans the transmission fluid quick, throw a new filter on it, see if it gets rid of that lag. It might just need to be topped off. It might just need to be topped off. I do remember something with the transmission fluid. I had to change the radiator and I lost probably about a half a quarter transmission fluid. I bet you just needs to be topped off. Oh, that's so stupid. Okay, so we might just top it off, see if that fixes it. But there is the exhaust leak. The exhaust leak I've known about, I thought I fixed it pretty good. After hearing it before, I know it's gonna be a distraction. So I want to fix that. Now, getting back to the Kia and the Forte. P0014 popped off again. I mean, if you guys did the research that I did, no one finds an answer to this. Most people just replace engines over this. So anyway, with that said, I'm going to start yanking out the exhaust. Basically, the way that it's set up and the way that I welded it, I kind of have to drop it off the front of the engine and then knock off the hangers get just to weld a little piece on the top side of the exhaust where it's leaking. Real pain, but it's, it's literally the best way to do it. And the only way I can do it because of the way that it's done. So I'm going to start yanking off the exhaust and then start welding up the top of that hole that I was never able to reach. And I thought, I got pretty good, but turns out it wasn't. I'm gonna get after it. See you guys in a bit. All right, it's the next day. It's actually editing day, so I had to kind of crank all this stuff out, but the exhaust sounds so much better. Very happy with it. Uh, I am so stoked, I can't believe it. Uh, I did, after fixing the exhaust, hear that noise that I heard with the other guys uh, the other night. I think it is a balancing bearing. I over-tightened it once, which started making a bunch of noise, and I think I might've damaged it. It was probably old as it is, but I think I probably damaged it. So what I wanna do is replace that bearing, but before I even do that, I want to do the transmission fluid in here. Good news bad news bad news i can't replace the transmission filter in these you have to separate the transmission that's put together in two parts to separate it and it's in the bottom so that's not going to happen the good news is i don't have to change the transmission filter so i'm going to do the transmission fluid just based on the color that i was kind of showing you guys pretty sure it's a bit burnt i don't think it's ever been changed so i think just a basic change will bring it way further ahead than before i'm not going to do the full flush procedure i've never done it and from what i hear it could break up if there is any particles sitting somewhere it could push it out and end up causing more damage than good. So I'm just going to do a drain and refill. It's supposed to be a lot better. If anything, it brings like, I don't know, 70% of new product into the service and kind of dilutes the old product kind of the way I look at it. And I kind of think that's true. So anyway, I'm going to get started doing the transmission fluid change and then I'm going to move on to the balancing tensioner bearing replacement. Let's get at it.
Okay, the transmission fluid on the Hyundai went great, shifts smooth, I can slam on it all the way up a hill, shifts no freaking problem. The noises are good. The bearing noise, in fact, I might be able to let you hear it quick. That. So that noise at a couple hundred revolutions per minute, you could hear it probably every two to three seconds. That's fixed. Exhaust, no more leak. I, such a good little sounding car now. Really stoked about it. So I feel complete, content with that. I don't think I'm gonna have anyone being able to scam me out of money and talk me down a couple grand again. Very happy about that. Now, I started thinking with this P0014 code, and this is probably a reach, but this car shifts a little hard too. And I thought it was because of the P0014 code, meaning the variable valve timing didn't kick in, go into a higher RPM, shift the gears. But then I started thinking, what if it's reversed? What if the RPM is right through the throttle body and the transmission to send the signal to the VVT and pop it? And if this is lagging or shifting wrong, could be sending the wrong signal at the wrong time for the VVT. It's a reach, it's a stretch. I do think it is possible. I'm not sure if it's actually gonna work. But with that said, because I felt this being a little weird, especially coming out of park, why not? I'm already doing transmission fluid. I already started with one. Might as well do both of them. They both take the same fluid. Just bang it out. So I'm gonna do that right now. Should be pretty quick process, then be done. See you in a bit. All right, um, back from the test drive, didn't really do anything. The transmission is shifting beautifully. I have no qualms that that's ever gonna be an issue. I'm very content with that. It made me realize like this transmission fluid definitely was never changed. It was just as oily, almost looked like black oil, just like the Hyundai was. Both of them very bad if they had been done, probably could have saved a lot, probably gas mileage as well. Anyway, test drive, things shift smoothly, still getting P0014 right off the bat. And there's such a clicking right here in the top of the engine area. And I used to think it was the valve, but now I'm pretty convinced that it's the actuator, the thing on the end of the cam gear that creates the actual variable valve timing. So sucks, we're gonna have to bring it all the way down to the timing chain again, throw that thing on, hopefully it's good. I was gonna order just the exhaust, but now I'm thinking I'm gonna do both intake and exhaust so I do not have any chance of any problem happening here on out. That's my goal. So I'm actually gonna go inside right now, start editing this, and while I'm doing that and things are loading up, I'm gonna try to find those parts and order them and hopefully have them in next week and get this thing done out of here. Hopefully two sounds sold by then. There's a lot going on. Anyway, I think that is going to wrap up this episode. I did put this video right here that I think you guys will probably enjoy. But until next time, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week and I'll see you then. Later guys.